Hello all you gypsies and gentlemen, this is x Tutorials coming to you with a awesome gameplay. This is one of my first gun gameplays that I've done. Um, so far on my channel I've been posting only sniper feeding and just zombie gameplay. Um, some big things I need to discuss. Um, first of all, I'm just super excited because I got all my snipers golden, which is awesome. Like, who wouldn't want all your snipers golden? And, in my opinion, golden snipers are better than diamond snipers. But, anyway. So, pretty much what that means for the gold camo and stuff. It means I'm gonna be getting a couple feeds with it. Edit a montage for you guys. And then I'm gonna post it. Uh, cause, you know, what wouldn't make a montage cooler? I mean, gold camo would just make... A feeding montage just awesome like yeah honestly <laughs> so pretty much this is just my first gun gameplay I've done and it's pretty good I went 54 and 18 I believe and yeah <laughs> and another big thing I want to discuss is that I know Christmas is coming around the corner uh, what what kind of person wouldn't I be if I'm not giving okay so, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give, I'm just going to buy, pretty, okay, so, with my money, I'm just going to buy, um, a 400, I mean a $4,000 point gift card, and two season passes for Black Ops 2. And why would I buy two? Well, obviously, I'm not going to need a second one, so... A little, a couple days after Christmas, I'm gonna be um, posting a video on rules and stuff, or like a challenge kind of thing, to for someone to get the season pass for Black Ops 2. And by getting the season pass, you can you get all the maps for Black Ops 2, and you get Nuketown 2025 Zombies, which is pretty awesome. And I think I think it was. I'm not sure, but I think you get double XP for like a week. I'm not sure. That's what I've been told, but I don't. I don't really know. But anyway, so I'm not even sure yet what I want the challenge to be. Um, if you guys can help me out with the challenge making process, that would be awesome. So just comment down below what you think the challenge should be, and I will make a video. Um, no, I'll make the video a couple days before Christmas on what I want the challenge to be. And then the person who completes the challenge in the best time, or not the best time, the with the most success, I should say. And they will get the, the, the code or whatever, and I'll send their YouTube the code. Now, you're asking what would the challenge be about? Well, the challenge would mostly be about pretty much just Call of Duty stuff. It'll be like, what's the biggest feed you have? Send me a video of it. And I, w I would hope that someone would send me like a nine-person sniping feed. And they would probably win because I've never seen a nine-man sniper, nine -man sniper feed. Well, I mean, I have, but they're only in like phase montages. And obviously everybody knows phase sets up, so. Oh, well. Um, or I would ask, like, okay, what's your, uh, best gameplay? And you can either friend request me on Xbox for it and show me it, or I could just, or you could record it and just post it and send me a link to it, and I can see it. Pretty much, it'll just be something about Black Ops 2, so stay tuned for that, and I will obviously be posting that probably next weekend, because next weekend will probably be enough time to get a new gameplay for my next commentary and stuff. What I noticed about Black Ops 2 is that I'm more of a, f I'm more of a feeder person with snipers. I don't really like using my gun, because so, like, I don't know. As you guys know, in Modern Warfare 3, I was all about just snipe, not snipers, I was all about like ACRs and stuff like that. But now I'm more of a sniper person 
I don't know what it is. I think like every other game, I'm a different kind of person. Like, Black Ops, the original, I was an assault rifle person. In Modern Warfare 3, I was more of a submachine gun person. And I was starting to get into sniping. And then into... Uh, Black Ops 2. I kind of just started loving sniping. I don't know what it is about it, but getting feeds is just the best feeling ever when you can aim down your sight and you see three people or four people and you just gonna you just wanna rape their assholes and you just go at it it's like the best feeling ever it's a lot better than going 54 and 18 I'll tell you that <laughs> especially when you get the first triple headshot of Black Ops 2 that's what makes it the best thing ever so anyway uh, other than that, I've realized lately, I don't know what it was, but last time I posted a video, it was like a while ago. I don't even... It was like last weekend, but since then, I've gained quite a few subs, which I'm glad I have. Uh, thank you guys for that. Well, this pretty much... Okay, just... This is like a side note. After the first round, I kind of suck, so just kind of bear with me while I suck, asshole. Okay. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys for the subs, and I'm really glad I was a I'm almost at 200, which is, like, awesome. <laughs> I mean, yeah, most people, well, not most people, a lot of people just don't even get more than 100. Like, I got a friend that should probably get more um, views on YouTube. His gamer tag is. His gamer tag and. Um, what's it called? YouTube channel is VV Jump. Um, I'll give you a link in the description. If you guys want to go check out his channel, uh, I would very much appreciate it. He deserves a lot more. He's got really good gameplays. A lot better than mine. And just. He, he deserves it, alright? And I think that people should get more view views depending on how good they are. Not by how good their gameplay is. Like, okay, White Boy is funny, so what? Doesn't mean he needs a billion and a half subscribers. You, and then someone that has like a hundred subscribers will have the most amazing gameplay ever, and no one will ever watch it. And, like, Karma sucks. He's pro I think, personally, he's funnier than White Boy 7th Street. And he doesn't even have, like, past 100 subs. He's got, like, 92 or something like that now. So, I mean, you guys should really... I mean, stop. I'm not telling you guys who to look at or stuff, but... It probably helps the YouTube community if, like, all the viewers didn't just go for people like white boy and what are the other big commentators Ali A and C Nanners and Minnesota Burns and what is gamer tag those are like the top like four people I think that was four whatever but anyway other than that I know I was kind of in kind of bit of a rage mode there save that guy from his tank uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna leave a description for VV Jump's YouTube channel. So you guys can go check him out. I would love you forever. I will kiss your penis. I will do all the kind of stuff you want. Maybe that I'll even make that the challenge. If you sub, if VV Jump gets 50 subs from my channel, I will give someone the, 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 the whatever, the thingy. <laughs> I'll pick one of the 50 people and give them the code. So, maybe I'll make that the challenge, I don't know. But I'm editing a kind of background for him. Um, I just finished it last night. But, I don't know, it kind of looks a little sketchy. I don't know, I don't really like it. So I think I'm going to edit it a little more later. I might not. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna ask him later. But. Hopefully he likes it. Um, but yeah, you guys really should check out his channel. He's doing, like, uh, like, 
really high kill streak games. Like he also did a montage. It was his first montage, a monster edit, and it was just him getting Moabs, which is completely awesome. And Moabs are like the highest kill streak you can get, and like all it's the most challenging kill streak you can get in any game that Call of Duty has ever released. Um. But yeah, this gameplay is wrapping up. Just please go check out VV Jump's channel, and I'll talk to you gypsies later. Thank you very much, and peace.